So friends, this is the session all about manufacturing processes, how to select the right manufacturing process during design. And since this is one of the pillars of design, we have to master this subject and we have to apply this knowledge when you are doing design activity. And this independence is very, very important. You should not take help from anybody regarding this. So how to achieve mastery on this particular area? It is all about today's topics. So the first important thing is material of the part. If the material is say aluminum, few processes are there like one is sand casting, another is die casting, one more is forging process. If it is still, the subject is vast. Steel component can be produced by forging, can be produced by uh, sand casting, can be produced by rolling, can be produced by press tool operations, can be produced by investment casting. So still wide range is there. But if it is rubber, only process is rubber molding. That's it. So this is how we have to understand the process and visualize this process. Then the second point, size of the component. When you are in design activity, if you finalize the design and this point, again, you can have a design review. Design review means once the design is complete, then there will be a, we can say a CFT that is cross-functional team and one by one, all aspects we can discuss. But before that design review also as a design engineer, it is your responsibility. You have to decide this and this decision making is very, very important. And today we are going to learn all these aspects. So imagine a product size is say 10,000 mm. Definitely there are very few processes we can produce such huge components, right? So one is sand casting. It can produce such huge components. Another is welding process, fabrication. You can go for this. So size is one factor which decides the manufacturing process. When you release the drawing, you should not ask for help. That is the independence and that is the true human nature. And you have to understand that all these skill set you have to build in yourself so that independently you should handle the project in the industry. The day you can handle the project independently, you will not remain design engineer. You will become project leader. You will become assistant manager. You will become senior manager. That is the ladder. That is the growth we have to achieve. That's why friends, you have to understand this very important thing that how I can decide this independently. You should not take help, right? Coming to the next point, how to select the right manufacturing process. The third important factor is complex geometry. See the beauty of casting. It can produce any complex geometry. There are very few processes which can produce very complex geometry. The number one process is casting. There is no limit for complex geometry. The geometry you can define can be produced in casting. That is the reason you can find in mechanical engineering field, most complex parts are produced by casting process. Imagine the complex parts, engine block, engine head, clutch housing, gearbox housing, turbine housing, centrifugal pump housing, intake manifold, exhaust manifold, all these critical components they are produced by casting process. So number one process is casting when it comes to the geometry, that is complexity of the geometry. If it is forging, it's a limitation. You cannot produce very complex parts in forging that we have to understand. The next point, how the process is decided, it is all about accuracy required. What is that accuracy you want to achieve on your product? And as a product design engineer, it is your responsibility to define the accuracy, what you want. And as per that accuracy is reflected in later stages like tool design accuracy mainly depends upon the product design accuracy. And there are three important terminologies. One is tolerance, second is accuracy and third is quality. Almost similar thing. But when we say tolerance, it is related to dimension or geometry. When we say accuracy, it may be related to dimension. It may be related to speed, temperature, pressure. And when we say quality, it is all about customer satisfaction. That means quality. But here we want to understand that if your requirement is say 5 micron accuracy, 
that is the tolerance you want to achieve on your product which process you will adopt for achieving this here you have to go for machining processes some finishing processes right when accuracy is the requirement then the casting will be in the last because that is the limitation of this process you cannot produce very accurate parts that we have to understand then if we understand casting then forging is better than casting then press tool is better than forging then plastic is better than press tool then machining processes are better than all these basic shaping processes this is how you can give the wettage and serial numbers all these things you must know then coming to the next factor which decides the manufacturing process is all about surface finish required see friend these are the important design factors see again the car example of a car what is that quality you want to achieve on your metallic parts when you are inside the car see the trim area what is that finish you want to achieve as per that you have to change the process so if surface finish required is say three triangle or four triangle as per that your process will change and this is one important question generally asked during interview if three triangles are there what is that manufacturing process so the process is grinding so this visualization design engineer should have when there are two triangles the process is your smooth machining process like maybe milling or turning so by which process what quality is achieved that's why this knowledge is very very important and you have to decide this as a product design engineer again coming to the forging process or casting process if the requirement of surface quality is very high this will not work that you have to understand so once the casting is produced or forging compounds are produced you have to go for machining that is not the case in press tool and plastic right because the luster the quality achieved on such components definitely very high coming to the next point heat treatment requirements design engineer has to understand what is that requirement of that heat treatment process if you want to go for a better life maybe you have to go for hardening process now if hardening is the requirement what is the prerequisite for that for that you may have to add the carbon percentage that you must know because all are dependent factors now one note is there in generally on fabrication compound you must have observed that what is that general note fabrication is to be stress relieved now here stress relieving is a heat treatment process which are the other processes hardening is one then normalizing then annealing is there stress relieving is there then toughening is there tempering is there all are processes different different processes as per your requirement you have to decide and if you are designing a die then you have to understand that forging dies press tool dies die casting dies you have to go for hardening processes that is the requirement if you want to design a guide pin or guide bush you have to go for surface hardening process so only the surface part is hardened where the hardness may be in the range of say 55 to 62 hrc and the core part is soft like in case of spindle or shaft we go for surface hardening process but some processes require through hardening processes means the full hardening process what is that requirement that as a product design engineer you must understand so again this is one input so this is all related to your product concepts and product requirements and who is defining this product requirement your customer because it is all about solving the problems of your customer friends your increment your promotion is all about solving the problems of your customer and as a design engineer who is your customer one is internal customer who is internal customer you are a design engineer your internal customer is your production engineer marketing engineer service engineer quality engineer purchase engineer right you have to understand the pain areas of these people and external customer means who is buying the product of your company he is your external customer you have to satisfy the requirements of both the customers coming to the next point very important cost 
so how you can reduce the cost of your product by changing the process i can show you one component here here how the cost thing is very important see this is one component the material is aluminum now if i want say 10 components just for prototype activities then sand casting is better than die casting how sand casting tooling cost is very very less why because you can go for a soft tooling material and which is the soft tooling material wooden material is a soft tooling material you can go for thermocore that is a soft tooling material that we have to understand so as a product design engineer just not product you have to understand the next dependent factors so to produce this component you need a die or tool so which is that tool that you have to understand and for that also you have to understand the total product life cycle and if you want 10000 components same material is aluminum then die casting is better than sand casting got this this is how decision changes okay so friends thank you for joining this session and i wish you all the best for your future endeavors